Hello everybody, welcome back to The Contrarian. For those of you who are new here, my name is Logan. I really like to talk about overall success, investing, and most of all going against the crowd and looking for value where the crowd is not looking. And I have a very relevant uh, person and a very relevant topic to talk about today with you, and that is Michael Burry just tweeted some very helpful advice for uh, all investors out there, but particularly uh, newer investors who really want to gain an understanding of, you know, what's the real process you that you should go through in order to make correct decisions when, you know, deciding to buy something or sell something or pass something up or should you go with the crowd on this uh, in this area or not. Um, he really gives some valuable advice, so I'm just going to jump into this tweet uh, without further ado. But it is very helpful that Burry is now back on Twitter and we can kind of routinely get updates from him because. For a while there, he was not on Twitter, so this also gives me a lot of new content to bring to you. Um, but I'll read his tweet. Knowing saves half the battle. Got it? It's not hard. Analyze, think independently, be informed, find the data, and you'll know a lot that no one else does. So even though that's a very short tweet, and it might not sound like a whole, a whole lot that he's giving us there, it's a very, very relevant uh, topic, a lot of advice there that he gives that I want to talk about. So I would say that there's four main important things that he brings to our attention. Uh, first of all, he encourages us to do independent analysis. And uh, I cannot emphasize how important this is, um, especially given what I talk about on this channel. It's called The Contrarian. I talk about uh, topics that oftentimes the crowd has come to very different opinions on. Uh, I bring to attention a lot of uh, stocks or uh, areas that oftentimes the crowd is overlooking or that they think is uh, dumb or irrelevant. Um, so independent analysis is extremely important. Uh, that is by definition mainly what being a contrarian is, is uh, not being uh, drawn into a crowd thinking mentality. It's being fine with going against other people's opinions and uh, coming to your own opinion and sticking with that even if other people think you are incorrect. So. By and large, uh, doing independent analysis is extremely important because if you're being influenced by other people uh, and not just the data and not just the annual reports coming out of these companies, uh, there's really no way you can make really informed and correct decisions when it comes to investing or anything in life, frankly. So number one is doing independent analysis. Uh, the second thing we can take from this tweet is uh, Marie talks about thinking independently. And this also ties into um, independent analysis, but you, you have to be thinking independently when it comes to making decisions. Even if your friends disagree with you or uh, family members or just people who you respect, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrong and they are right. And it, conversely, it doesn't mean that you are correct and uh, they are wrong. You know, uh, you should be completely fine with coming to your own opinion not based off of anyone else's uh, opinion out there. Uh, number three is uh, being informed by correct data. And this is extremely important because the internet has given us access to a lot of data out there and a lot of it is not extremely helpful or relevant or even uh, correct. A lot of, some of it can be uh, falsified and you know, twisted in such a way to make something look very unattractive when it might actually be attractive if the data were presented in a extremely uh, similar manner for every stock out there. So you want to be informed by correct sources. You don't want to be informed by all of these trading chat groups or you know extremely biased um, sources out there where you're just hearing nothing but opinionated people talking and they're usually not citing any sort of data to back up their opinion. They're just speaking you know just out of their mind and that is not a helpful way to inform yourself so if if you're wanting to really strengthen this uh, this way of thinking I would encourage you to cut out all of those bad sources of data that you might be taking in and lastly the the last most important uh, thing we can take from this tweet is you need to find relevant data to back up your opinions you don't want to have opinions that you're making just on uh, several ways. You don't want to have opinions that you're making on a knee-jerk reaction to the crowd. So being a contrarian like what Burry is and like what I try to do is not just going automatically against the crowd. There are a lot of times when I do come to the same conclusions as the crowd, but
but it's not for the same reasons uh, usually as what the crowd is uh, talking about or you know bringing hype to or whatever. So you have to find relevant data and you have to allow that data to inform your investing decisions out there. Um, yeah, it's just extremely important. I, you know, for example, um, I was an early investor into GameStop roughly about the same time last year. If you don't, if you don't believe me, you can uh, go look at uh, some of my last videos I made about a year ago. But I, I was really having to go through all these processes in order to, you know, think independently, in order to do independent analysis. Uh, being informed by correct sources was an extremely important thing because there were so many uh, people out there, pundits in the you know Wall Street uh, mainstream media, who were you know saying that this was a dead company, that it was you know going to be bankrupt in months, and you know they were really ignoring a lot of the relevant data out there, mainly the upcoming new console cycle and everything that did end up happening. And uh, obviously, this is before any of the sort of mania that happened around GameStop. I'm not, um, I'm not going into that, but um, yeah, you really want to do all of these things. Number one, doing independent analysis. Number two, thinking independently. Number three, being informed by correct sources. And number four, finding relevant data and letting that data uh, inform your uh, investing decisions. And if you can do this, I would wager that you'll be in the top 1% of investors out there in the market. Uh, so many people out there are not doing this. This is an extremely easy process to do in theory, but it is actually very hard to play out, especially when you have a lot of people going against you and you have a lot of you know, uh, not relevant data coming out that is saying that you're wrong. You know, it's, it's, it's very hard to do when, uh, when those kinds of situations go against you. So I would wager also that it's... Uh, probably possible that not not a lot of people can be a true contrarian out there. They can't really think for themselves and they can't really stick with that opinion through thick and thin. Um, but if you can do all of this, I would definitely say that you'll be in the top 1% of investors out there. Uh, like Michael Burry, you'll be able to really outperform the crowd. You'll be able to come to uh, very different decisions than the majority of the crowd. And yeah, you will be... Uh, definitely in the top 1% of people and you'll be a true contrarian. There's a lot of people out there who are calling themselves contrarians right now uh, for, and and then they say, oh yeah, go and buy Bitcoin and I'm a part of all of these Bitcoin trading groups and whatever. That isn't a true contrarian and uh, neither is going along with Tesla or any of these other, you know, meme stocks or anything out there. So if you are a true contrarian, you're likely going to be very alone <laughs> in your journey. So all this being said, this is just a very important tweet I wanted to bring to your attention by the one and only Michael Burry, and it's good to have him back on Twitter. All that being said, if you enjoyed this video, just consider subscribing to this channel, and I hope to see you again.